high effects any year and I'm still a rookie in some cars. Although I'm an amateur in the skippy, as soon as I sit in this rig and I get into a new car, I classify myself as a rookie because I don't know the car. So here are my top 5 tips for any new rookie newcomer. Number 1. Get to know your track. This is very very important because if you do not know your track, you will get caught out. You have to learn the camber of the track, you have to learn which turn comes after which turn, otherwise this will happen to you. I didn't know Nautch Life from my heart and I didn't expect this turn to come up and this happened. Oh, I didn't expect no, that turn, no, 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 I didn't no, know no. how to take the turn and I crashed out and I messed up my race. So go and practice your track and get to know it. Very important. Number two, get to know your car. There's a major difference between a Mazda MX-5, a Skippy and a TCR for example. The brakes are different, the weight transfer is different, the handling of the car is different. It took me five weeks to practice in the TCR for my very first endurance race and I had a coach. So get to know the car, get to know the feel of the car and the feel of the force feedback on your wheel and your, your pedals. All those things will give you signals of the handling of the car and it is very important because every car takes a turn differently and every car's braking point is differently. So it's very important to get to know your car. Number three, join open practice sessions. Although you can practice on your own, on your own you're not going to learn racecraft and you're not going to learn how to race wheel to wheel with other folks. In my beginner's guide I show you how to join an open practice session and if there's no open practice sessions for your chosen series you can host your own series or your own session and practice with other folks. That's the easiest way and the quickest way to learn racecraft and to learn how to handle the car amongst other cars. Number four, don't be a lap one euro. You are not gonna win the race in lap one. You've got cold tires and it's gonna take a few laps for the tires to warm up. If you gun for it in the first lap you are going to spin out and you're going to mess up your own race and most probably half of the field's race as well so be patient and just avoid things and just be calm until your tires are warm this is an example of what happens if you gun it in lap one out of my skin i was too eager in lap one and this is what happens I messed up my own race as well as everybody else's race. I had cold tires and it just didn't work. And finally, have fun. Embrace all the emotions that comes along with iRacing. It's a, a huge bowl of emotions in one race. Embrace it. In today's society, um, people are not allowed to show their emotion and to experience their emotion. Let it go. Have fun. This was my emotions after I got my very first podium position and I will never forget this feeling. <laughs> so close! My first podium <laughs> Oh, bloody hell! Oh. <laughs> okay folks, so that's the five tips from a rookie to another rookie. Over the past few months, that is what I've learned the hard way. Please learn from my mistakes. Uh, I had some wonderful races, but I've also messed up quite a few races as well, just by making silly mistakes and not following my own advice. So these five tips will definitely help you if you follow them. I hope you enjoy all your races and we'll see you in the next video. Happy racing.